Hello guys, uh, today I'll show you how to make these three dynamic components. What we've got here is a door that opens and closes, a window that slides open, and this 3D number that changes when you click on it with the interact tool. You can find the tool right here in your dynamic components toolbar. So let's get right into it. First, the door component. Here we've got two components, the door frame and the door panel. We need to select both and create a new component. Let's call it door. Now open the component attributes and under the door panel component, you need to add first the rotation Z attribute and then the on click behavior. Here you'll type animate open parentheses quotation marks rot z 0 comma 45 comma 90 close parentheses enter so what did you do just now you've just instructed this component to change the value of the rotation around the z-axis every time you click on it with the interact tool these numbers right here separated by commas are the values you want your attribute to alternate if you want, you can add as much values as you like. You'll notice though that the door panel doesn't rotate around the correct axis. To correct this behavior, you need to change the origin point of the component. Now it works the way it was supposed to. Let's go on to the next one. Here we have a window frame component and two instances of the same component named window panel. Just like the door component, let's select all and make a new component. Let's name it window. Now in the components attribute, under the window panel component, let's add the X attribute and the on click behavior. Here, let's type animate X comma five comma 105, enter. That's it. So now every time you click on each of the window panel components, the position changes. The principles are practically the same as the door component. You just deal with the position value instead of the rotation value. Now to the number component. Here the situation is a bit different because we don't need to move or rotate the components, but we get to hide some of them. First, let's move these one, two and three components all to the same position. Then let's select all and create a component that we'll name number. Now in the component attributes, let's add first a custom attribute that we'll name, I don't know, let's say George. And then we'll add the on click behavior, but this time we won't type animate, but set George one comma two comma three. Now every time we click on the component, the George value changes, see? And now we're gonna use this George value to hide or unhide nested components. Under one component, let's add a hidden behavior attribute and type equals if number exclamation point George equals one comma false comma true. This means that if the George value inside number component is exactly one, then the hidden behavior is false and the component won't be hidden. Otherwise, if it's not exactly one, the hidden behavior will be true and the component will be hidden. Let's copy this string to the other components, but change the equals one to equals two and equals three respectively. See now that as we click on the component, the George value changes and the hidden value of our component changes as well. Let's just disable view hidden geometry on the view menu and that is it. So that is it for this video. I actually just scratched the surface of the dynamic components capabilities in SketchUp, but the principles are practically the same, whatever you choose to achieve with them. I did show you these three examples today because personally this change of position or rotation and hidden behavior are what I use them for most of the time. Anyway, if you end up with some questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. 
Do not forget to hit like and if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button before you go. And I'll see you in the next one. Hasta mañana.